What is up, peeps? This is for the Win TCG. Now, let's welcome you back to another YouTube video. And it is Monday, so I hope you have had a great start to your week. And uh, with that said, I hope you do continue to have a great one. But today, we do have Raikou. Um, now, this is a card <clears throat> I mentioned in my Discord about a week or so ago, saying I'm looking to work on this one. Any ideas? Um, and a few people got back to me with a few ideas. So I want to give a quick shout out to them because they kind of helped me with the build of this particular deck. We've got Cedric over on Discord and of course we have Frog and Rosbiff is how, how it's written. So that's how I'm going to pronounce this. I'm sorry if I've got that wrong. But they're over my Discord and they suggested a few ideas for this Raikou deck. So I've kind of taken that on board and built my own list as well um, just to see how this deck functions. And, and it's pretty good. I mean it functions really well. If you get things right... Uh, then it does exactly what it needs. So this is incorporating the combo of v a turn one Volkner. And um, because what you could do is you can get power your Volkner, off. power off, you can get your Volkner, um, turn one, and then bang, drop down your Lost Blender, drop down the energy that you obtained with your uh, uh, your Volkner, and then you're pretty much ready to go. Um, now, ideally, we would have a Thunder Mountain at the start so we can attack right away. Um, but we don't have to, obviously. This is the awkward thing about Raikou, is the awkward energy attachment. Um, I mean, we got our turn on Volkner, but this is a terrible hand. Oh, that's awful. We might actually have to Cynthia just to try and find something, depending on our top deck. Um, we are going second, so if we do pull, like, just an energy... If we do get the magic combo, where we do get a lightning in the lost zone... Oh, wow, they're playing Ampharos. Okay, this is intriguing. Um, please don't be a lock deck. What cards do they have? It looks like it's primarily damage. I don't know. Um... Two mulligans, though, or three mulligans was that, because if that is, that's great. Two mulligans. Okay, great. So uh, that's good news for us. Um, yeah, hopefully we top deck a Raikou, because that's really all we need to top deck here. Well, I'd say that we do need to top deck ourselves. Well, we can't top deck two cards, can we? We need to get ourselves a Thunder Mountain to be able to attack right away. It's a shame Max Elixir isn't around here. Maybe an expanded Raikou could be a bit better. But to be fair, I think any deck is better in expanded. Let's be real. Um... Yeah, so they got their memory power. We've got an Electro Power. This is the awkward thing about Electro Power. Sometimes it's just not really necessary. I mean, we could get an Ultra Ball with the Volkner. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't want to play a Volkner now. I really don't. All right, we're going to Cynthia. Because I really don't like the idea of a Volkner here without a bench Pokemon at least. Uh, we need a bench Pokemon before we even consider playing something like that. So we have Raikou here. I mean, <laughs> this could work out. Um, well, not necessarily. We do need our, our energy in the Lost Zone to hit some serious numbers. But I mean, 30 plus... Well, we could do 90 damage with Lost Voltage without even requiring an energy in the Lost Zone thanks to the Electro Powers. Um, this deck will get 10 times better in Tag Team. Um, not only do we have a much easier way now for non-GX decks to search for support guards with 30... Uh, with Poke Gear 3.0, if I can speak English, which is my native language. Um, <laughs> yeah, not only will we have um, Poke Gear 3.0, which, if you don't know translation, allows you to look at the top seven cards of your deck and find a trainer and put it in your hand. Or, no, find a supporter and put it in your hand. Sorry, wording. So, not only will we have that to fish for our supporter cards um, and get our term on Vulcans a lot easier. Um, we also have the, I, I think it's called Electro Charge, if I'm correct, which uh, basically is flip two coins and put an Electro Power from your discard pile for each heads back into your deck from your discard pile. So we can uh, effectively reuse our Electro Powers, which would be fantastic, which makes them a bit um, less uh, vital. Um, because what you'll find when playing Lightning decks is sometimes there's turns where you have Electro Power in hand and you just don't want to play it, but you've got to. Let's say you're playing Zip Striker and you need to discard your hand to get a certain card. Or um, let's say you need to thin your hand down because, again, you need a certain card. You just have to play the Electro Powers on very weird turns. Speaking of, this is just awkward. Um, very awkward top deck. And this is actually the worst I've seen this deck function since I've built it. And I've played quite a few games. So I'm kind of irritated that, again... Whenever I upload the video, it's like, bang. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> this is a terrible day. No. We'll, uh, we'll run a couple games if this does not get its due justice um, in this episode. I'm assuming they have the Anthros. Oh, thank God they dropped it. They dropped a the Marshadow. I'm so thankful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Speaking of thank you, um, or thank yous, 
Uh, I did just hit 800 subscribers and I, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. We are less than 200 subscribers away now from 1,000, which I'm so excited for. So thank you to all of you who've recently subscribed um, and all to uh, the old timers as well who are still watching now to this day. Genuinely are the real MVP. Um, oh, great. We do have exactly what we need thanks to the second Marshadow. So they Marshadowed us into a hand that was also pretty bad. And then they Marshadowed us again into a hand that we actually want. So fingers crossed they don't go for a third Marshadow, which is ridiculously unrealistic. Oh, they're playing the Raikou. So this is also a Raikou deck, but it's playing the Ampharos. Uh, I don't know if this is an Ampharos main attacker or if Raikou's the main attacker and Ampharos is like the bench Pokemon that, you know, throws the energy in the lost zone. I don't know. Is it if Ampharos is only the active Pokemon you can do it? Now, once you're in your turn, you may put two energy in your discard pile. So you can, this can be done from the bench. So that's intriguing. That's very intriguing. But we've got what we want thanks to the Volkner. Uh, beautiful stuff. And we got the lost the Thunder Mountain, which we don't necessarily need. But let's play this Volkner here. Let's get the... Um, no, no, not you. Let's get the Lost Blender. And this is why Volkner is pretty good in this deck, because you can get yourself your Electro Powers and your Choice Bands and stuff um, quite easily. But I like Lost Blender because, of course, you get to draw and stuff. So we are actually going to Lost Blender away. I don't want to Lost Blender 2 energy. That feels bad, man. Our energy is already quite slim in this deck. So I think we're going to do that in an Ultra Ball. Although the Ultra Ball would be valuable. I'm just... Uh... Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Um, I think we just go in here and... Maybe I should have got... should have kept the Ultra Ball and not the energy. I'm not too sure yet. I'm not too sure. Because we... Uh... Probably would have been better off with a Raikou on the bench now, just in case they have the potential to KO us, which I don't think they do. What's the attack on Ampharos? This does 50 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay, nothing spectacular. I mean, you can Lost Charge and... Um, you can... Uh, sorry, Lost Charge? <laughs> you can Electro Power and go for a bit extra damage on the active if you don't spread to two bench Pokemon. I mean, it is a good attack. But it is a stage two, so you've got to expect that. Okay, so that's twice they failed the paralysis, which is critical. Oh, they failed. Hey, can't complain. We had a terrible hand anyway, and I threw away the Ultra Ball, which I needed. Um, oh, 600 coins. We've got 6,300 coins. I'm saving up for Tag Team. So when Tag Team does come out, if at that point I don't have any money to purchase a bunch of packs in real life to get codes, or I can't buy, purchase any codes in any sort of significant sum, I wanted to save up some coins, so at the very least, just as kind of the safety net, I can get a pack opening video of Tag Team. And I can, of course, start building um, some Tag Team Rogue decks. Um, and, of course, some meta decks here and there that I do enjoy. I'd love to build Jolteon. And I know Jolteon is out now, but again, I can't really afford uh, much to go off and buy the codes. I know the codes are cheap, but they're ridiculously expensive for a code. Um, and I would just much rather wait, obviously. Um all right, this is looking a bit better. We can throw down on Oranguru and thin our hand down, which is nice. One thing I do like about this deck is it, it's really good at thinning its hand down, um, which is really great for the Makargo oranguru combo that we play. Um, and that's that was Frog that gave me that idea. Um, oh, Decidueye. Ay, 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 ay. Decidueye, Zorok, Makargo. Was that Makargo we saw? Oh, well, we're playing Decidueye, Zorok. So uh, here we are. And we got the Lost Bender. Oh, my God. What is this? This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay, I think I'm going to get rid of the energy. I should have Kukui'd first and then lost Blender, but that's fine. Here we are. Oh, no, Tate and Liza. That's actually better. Um, or is it? <laughs> no, that's, a, that's a Ranguru on the bench now. Throw down this. I kind of want to hold my hand, man. Because we can get some serious damage. Although, to be fair, they're not going to go for anything crazy, are they? Next turn. I didn't see any sort of... Uh, any crazy fangs in there. Uh, the Volkner helps as well with getting energy, which is great. And we're going to nest ball here for... Should we just fit our bench? Yeah, let's just do it. Oranguru and another Slugma. So we have some crazy setup. Oh, wait. No, there's no Slugmas. Oh, that's a shame. All right, for the next Raikou down. That's okay. We'll just roll with that. So we've got a full bench right away. And we've got another Oranguru pool. Good stuff. This is fantastic. See? I told you. The first game, it just wasn't working. Our, uh, wasn't going our way, but... Here we are. We've got the energy in the Lost Zone on the turn one. We've got an energy attachment. We've got our stadium out so Zorak can't one-hit KO us. We've got the Volkner in hand to just grab the extra energy and Electro Power if we really need it. Ah, oh, so many options. So many options. I probably will Volkner just because it at least guarantees the energy. Energy is quite hard to find in this list. And we're only playing nine energy. And that's eight electric, um, sorry, eight, eight electric lightning energy. Is it electric or lightning energy? I don't know. Um, eight, I'm going to call it lightning energy. I'm just double-checking now. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Eight lightning energy 
and a counter energy. The counter energy can work out when you're playing Thunder Mountain because you just need a colorless energy. Um, so that's fine. Uh, Frog, I'm going to call him Frog because that's his name on Discord. I don't know his, his actual name, so I'm sorry if you don't like being called Frog. Um, but uh, his suggestion <clears throat> was to play a counter game, which I like the idea of it. But I thought it was a lot better to throw in an extra EXP share. Or I think, I don't know if I did cut it for something else. Um, I'm not too certain. Um, and his list originally played the Raikou. I forgot, is it from Shining Legends? Is it the Raikou from Shining Legends? I think it is. The one that does 30 damage and accelerates energy from the, from the discard pile. I get the idea and I like the idea of that. But I would rather play four Raikous and rely on XP share to get energy going. And from the Mountain, which is also quite a reliable um, way to, to, to attack. Okay. Speaking of, do we have Thunder Mountain in the deck? We do. Choice fans not necessary, but EXP share is. And we only have one. Ooh, that's quite bad. Now, if I'm only playing two EXP share, then I really should change that up because we are relying on that a lot. And Field Blower is uh, still around, so. Right, 90 damage, obviously, because of our own Aether Paradise, but that won't matter too soon. Uh, and the Aether Paradise is absolutely critical. So to be fair, all they need is a Field Blower and they, they, they really will start to cripple our deck because we're heavily relying on the Aether Paradise to not get KO'd immediately. And we're heavily relying on the CXP share so we can stream attacks. So, fingers crossed, there's no Field Blower coming out of nowhere that could really uh, screw us over uh, for this particular turn. So, fingers crossed. Um, and the good thing about using the Makargo Oranguru engine is there are turns where you just need something and luckily you can thin your hand down well enough to be able to obtain it. So let's say, like next turn, let's say they feel blow the Aether Paradise and they feel blower the, um, switch. We, uh, the, the switch, sorry, I was looking at the switch in my hand and they feel blow the EXP share. If we draw like an Ultra Ball or something, we could thin our hand down to be able to obviously get the Makargo, top deck the Thunder Mountain, get the Thunder Mountain out and then we just need an energy and then we go to attack again, right? Um, or they might get the field blow here because they've got a Macargo out. Um, it depends though if they're going to be prioritizing the setup or prioritizing uh, holding me. Sorry, holding me back. It depends on what they're going to prioritize here. Um, or they're getting a DCE, which is kind of suboptimal. I mean, they get damage down, but other than that. Okay, so they are getting the DCE, but they're, they're not getting a KO. I don't know if they've realized it yet. Even, even, even with that, I think they're 10 damage off. They're only going to be doing 90 here. So that's really paid off really well. We can go for some crazy play here, right? Where we, I think we can double electro charge and <laughs> get a choice ban or triple electro charge. And we can get the one hit KO on the Sorok. So if we get that combo, which isn't happening, unfortunately. <laughs> hey, win some, lose some. Um, oh, we got we are gonna ultra ball though. We're gonna ultra ball the way the Kukui and the Aether Paradise because we can't use them now. They're kind of dead. We can get the Macargo. Um, <clears throat> we can. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it, right? I mean, we might as well do as much damage as possible. I know we are two shotting anyway, but should we get another Electro Power? Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. So we're gonna Electro Power once, then we're gonna Oranguru get our other Electro Power. Electro power twice. And then we're going to get the other one. Come on. Come on. Be a choice band on electro power. Damn it. Oh, well. That's fine. We hit 180 there. Um, yeah. So you can actually hit big numbers. If earlier in the game, let's say the Slugman that's in our prize, if that was on the bench um, and we got Macargo out, and we had both Macargos out during that turn, sorry, we would have been able to get the KO because we would have guaranteed the second Oranguru pull there with the other Macargo. Um... But that's just here. That's just where we are now. Ah, big problem. Ouch, that's bad. Uh, that's very bad. They uh, use Feather Arrow, so we don't activate our EXP share, which is something I didn't see coming. So we now need to get Thunder Mountain, which isn't going to happen because, well, we have Aether Paradise out, and I don't see them getting rid of it. Did they feel blower last time? So how did I get the other field Aether Paradise out? Can you bump your stadium? I think you can bump your own stadium with a different stadium. Am I correct? I don't know. I don't know if I can bump my own Aether Paradise with Thunder Mountain. I think I can. I think I can. So if we just find Thunder Mountain and an energy, um, we should be fine. 
and uh, we could get a nice KO on this right, but the uh, on this Zorak. But the issue with that is we do extremely suffer because we are immediately uh, KO'd by a just a vanilla Zorak attack. Um, but then they've got the siege wise anyway. Oh wow! Okay, counter energy. Uh, that's a bit unfortunate. Okay, let's. Mm. I can't really play my hand on it. We can't play the counter energy. Um, wait, no. Oh my god, we we can attack. I think we can attack. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking attach the counter energy to this Raikou. Okay? And then we play the switch. And then we make car go from Thunder Mountain and play Thunder Mountain so the attack is only colorless energy, which a counter energy counts as. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got it. We got it. We got the play. We got the play. All right, thank you, Macargo, coming in and saving the day here, getting us to fund the mountain to allow us to attack. Good stuff, good stuff. I like this, and we haven't even played our supporter yet. Ah, just beautiful, bang, fund the mountain. <laughs> we can attack, baby. Okay, let's go for the Aranguru here, and see what we pull. Lost Bender, kind of a dead card here. We we can just use that to thin our own deck, like. Uh, uh, is there anything we want to field blower in particular? I don't think so. Um, the awkward thing is though is this this thing gets KO'd, which it can now quite easily. Um, oh no, we we still need the single energy as long as that Thunder Mountain's in play. And they haven't shown any signs of anything that can discard this. So they haven't shown any signs of their own stadiums yet, like Life Forest, which they might have. Um, so fingers crossed, this Thunder Mountain stays in play because if this Thunder Mountain stays in play for the rest of the game. Uh, we just require one energy one energy to attack. And, uh, wow, here we are. So, we are really good. And that Volkner, I would get, depending on if they KO this Raikou or not. With that Volkner, I will get a Rescue Stretcher and shuffle the Raikous back into the deck. So, that way, again, we could just keep streaming. Ah, this deck, its synergy is fantastic. I'm absolutely loving it right now. We are rivaling and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Zoro Decidueye deck that is even playing Macargo. Um, ooh, Faber. Ouch, that's fine. We're good. We're good. Did not see the Faber coming, but that's okay. Thunder Mountain is just holding us down. I think the Faber actually would have been able to discard the stadium, but by the way, the full art is awesome. Uh, but given it's a Prism Star, they couldn't. So, well done. Absolutely good stuff there. Um, yeah, well, thinking about Raikou. Um, oh, we got a Guzma play here, which is nice. Uh, we definitely are going to Guzma into one of... Into probably the... Mm, See, this is a tough thing. I don't want to Guzma and just get KO'd, you know? I think I think it's a bit greedy. Maybe maybe we take the opportunity to take the prize on the Slugma so we go and take our odd prize. Because regardless, we've got to take... But yeah, let's take this opportunity and let's take the Slugma out because uh, we've got to take three prizes and we don't want them to force us to effectively go for four prizes by forcing us to KO two GX Pokemon. So I think that's what we're doing. So I'm going to hold this hand. And the reason why is we have the Volkner and we will severely uh, need the Rescue Stretcher later on. Um, and the Volkner will get it for us. Maybe a Choice Band would be good here. Maybe a Choice Band would be a good top deck. I know Electro Power. Electro Power we can just play rather than attach. So let's just top deck an Electro Power for next turn. I think that's perfectly fine. Let's do that and we're not going to play any supporters i mean we could volkner now but no let's get it when we need it let's just play our game safely and at a decent pace um but yeah as i said we're sitting here oh we've got the other raikou good stuff um rivaling zork decidueye which is uh, a very established deck i mean this isn't the nine tails variant so you've got to you know Hold back a second and, and understand this is not the, the, the most meta variant of Zorak and Decidueye. But we're playing a top tier meta deck here and uh, absolutely wrecking it by destroying it. So um, this deck indeed has potential. I mean, weakness to fighting is right now not that big a deal. It will be soon though. Mark my words. Zekron Pikachu is going to be flames. That, that deck is going to be insane. And so is Jolteon and so is Zapdos. Although Zapdos is resistant to fighting and weak to lightning. Um, fighting types might come back. As I mentioned in the video before, Zygarde might particularly come forward or Buzzwell might return. So, be careful. <laughs> be careful. Let's just see how the format unfolds. Um, and if it does unfold in a way that fighting types come back, then maybe incorporate weakness policies or stuff into this list if you do really want to play it. And look at this. I mean, it's functioning. It's, 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 it's rivaling a top-tier deck. It's doing... 
Did he just nest ball a Lele? Whoa. Okay. He clearly wants the KO. Clearly wants the KO. But we top decked. Hmm. I'm trying to think. We still have two Electro Powers left in deck and a Choice Band. So we can one hit KO this Zorok if we get them all in our hand and played this turn, which is very probable. We promote the extremely damaged Raikou, attach the energy, and we have two Ultra Balls, which means we can thin, which means we can uh, Macargo for the other Electro Power. And then we can Volkner for the Choice Band. So if we... Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, Deny, Deny, Attach Energy, Play the Electro Power. I don't know if I am thinning down fully. I'm scared. I don't know. I don't know. Now, why did they not do that? They didn't Feather Arrow the... Okay. So, I'm not sure if this is a decent player or not. Because what you should have done on that turn was Feather Arrow this Raikou and take that one out with the Zorark to get... Unless they thought Aether Paralyze was still around. I don't know. Okay, we're going to go for it. Play the Electro Power. Ultra Ball. We can actually play this Raikou down. Allows us, again, more thinning options. Um, attach. We don't, even need, we don't even need to attach the energy because we can Vulcan for an energy. And we have to Vulcan for an energy, I think. Let's play safe. Uh, get rid of the Field Blow and Macargo. Let's see what's going on here. So, we... Do have an energy, which is great. So we, yeah, I'm gonna ultra ball away. I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Uh, sequencing. Sequencing's critical. Uh, the Liza and the, yeah, and then we fail that. Right, we've played our electric power already. So then we Volkner. We get a choice ban and a lightning. I think we've done it. I I genuinely think we've done it. And thanks to Thunder Mountain, we can attack. And then we get the last Electro Power. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. I think we've just played and absolutely annihilated here. Okay, let's give him the heart. You have a good deck, buddy. I love you. 210? <laughs> good stuff. Look at that. An absolute beautiful victory against Zoro Decidui. Granted, they could have taken an alternative route there. And they might have actually caused us a bit of problems. Uh, but nonetheless, we had the Guzma in hand that we could have played. No, we couldn't have done this at Guzma because we played the Volkner. So maybe maybe if they took out the Raikou um, on the bench that was heavily damaged, maybe it would have been a bit more trouble. But we did win the game there. Let me show you the list. Nonetheless, go try it out for yourself. It is a lot of fun. And as I said, it wasn't just me that built this list. Although I created this particular list, it was heavily inspired by Frog and Cedric, who kind of threw in their ideas. And I went, okay, let's throw these together. So the Counter Energy is, Frog, is Frog's idea. Uh, the Kukui and the um, Volkners. The Volkners, definitely. Cedric said play four. And, and uh, Frog's list initially had two. So I was like, okay, let's just meet in the middle and go for three. I don't think four is that much of a requirement. Uh, because it is still obtainable early on when you play three and you just get a bit extra room to play some extra cards Plus believe it or not this deck is very tight. It's very very tight. It is playing 41 trainer cards So it's got a lot of a lot of options and it will have even more in the next expansion So keep an eye out for that. So yeah, this is the list and uh, yeah, try it out Let me know if you do get any good success, but I hope I did represent it well enough today with that said, if you did like this video, of course, do leave a like. And if you did enjoy it and you want to see more of my content, then please do subscribe for daily videos every day of the week. But other than that, I will leave you to it. Take care. Have a good week. And thank you very much for your interest subscribers. Do take care. Peace.